Okay, seems that we're live and let's just get into this. So this is going to be my opinion of what I think the current meta is right now. We have, um, we have the SS tier. Mm, we'll just call it talented and gifted. Tag. And then we'll have, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. But, you know, first things first, really obvious. Right now in the current meta, talented and gifted Pokemon include... Gengar, I think, is a pretty obvious pick. And Mr. Mime also. Even after the nerf, I think this is pretty unanimous. I was looking at, you know, some other, what people say. It's like Spraggles feels kind of the same. He thinks Gengar and Mr. Mime are definitely in top two. And I would agree with that. And yeah, I think that's kind of the easy one to go. Let's just kind of start feeling this out. Cinderace speaks to me as a Pokemon that does well. Guard War I've seen really well. I think Norlax does well in this meta. Except when there's a Gengar pushing objectives against him. Haven't seen too much Dragonite after the nerf. Actually, I really don't know. This could be don't know tier. Haven't played with him that much. <clears throat> And I haven't really seen him that much. Uh, Venusaur, I would say solid. This is your solid tier, still doing stuff. Blissey, I think, is definitely solid tier, even after the nerf. A lot of Lucario, he's doing work. Elagloss, don't know, haven't really seen anything. This is definitely a first of my class at MIT. Oh, okay, this is talented and gifted. And this will be first in my class at MIT. <laughs> I think we see a lot of Serena. I think she's talented and gifted. I think she has a lot to add. Mm, but yeah, nowhere near as much as um, I see Cram doing. So I feel like he's kind of in a tier above. All these other Pokemon I've mentioned. I think Ninetales is also doing okay. I've seen Mamoswine put in quite a lot of work. Also Trevenant, very rare in this meta, but still putting in a lot of work. I have no idea about Cypher and Scizor. You see a lot of Tyranitar, he does okay. <laughs> um, I think Talonflame as of right now with the yellow build if you if you run all yellows, you just run around and secure objectives. I think that's very good. The current meta is all about scoring, so I think Pokemon that do that exceptionally well do well. I think Tyranitar also for that reason. Tyranitar has a special place in the meta because he attacks through shields, which means he's amazing at defending after a Quasar falls down, which you would think you would see more often than not, but it's kind of a kind of a niche situation that pops up. I see a lot of Zeraora. I think Zeraora does very well. Absol stands out to me as being talented and gifted. I see a lot of work coming with Absol. Greedent, also just a solid Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> Greninja is still solid, although I feel like he's fallen off. Blastoise is solid, has some good counters specifically against um, any of your three stage Evolutions. Oh, he just melts Cinderace and Decidueye super hard if he gets in. All these Pokemon are just solid. It's kind of a boring tier list because I think the game is at a stage where it's very... Most of the characters are very well balanced, very well tuned. I do think Charizard is talented and gifted just because he's still amazing. This is my first C-tier Pokemon, Wheelie really Tough. She got the buff. I've seen a lot of people try her out. Um, Go back to training. <laughs> I don't know. She's fine. By all means, all these characters are viable. Um, I just don't see quite as much work being put in with them. I think Azumarill is very good still. Even though you don't really see a lot of people putting in the work. People kind of think this character is booty. Booty trash. 
I think Azumar will have a friend, J-Side. He's in the cloud. If you ever ha check out our Discord, you'll see him in there. I don't know anything about Dodria. I have no idea. I haven't seen any results. I'm excited for him. I think he's potentially going to be a solid Pokemon. Mew, Mew, definitely. When played well, Mew can absolutely turn the tide on games in terms of securing objectives, in terms of pushing team fights in a very good direction with Solar Beam, in terms of quickly pivoting to Surf to help push in Regio Lecky. I think Mew is definitely a talented and gifted Pokemon in the meta at the moment. Buzzful. This is a hard one. I feel like, ah, go back to training or is he solid? I don't see a lot of great Buzzful It ranked. I actually just don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't see a lot of great Buzzwall, but I feel like he's not wiggly tough tier. I'll say he's wiggly tough tier. Clefable, I have no idea. Crustle is just a solid Pokemon. Hoopa, I feel like he's fallen off in the meta. I really don't see great Hoopa. I think he's still a really good Pokemon. Theoretically, still a very good Pokemon to have. But that's like in five stacks. Our very coordinated team play. I guess I should do a solo queue list and a... Okay, I'm going to do a solo queue list. Yeah, I'm not going to like think about five stacks. I think Koopa in solo queue doesn't do as much as he would like to do. I think Machamp is still a very good Pokemon. Slowbro is still a solid Pokemon. Solid defender. I think all the defenders are kind of cozy and solid. They're not talented and gifted, and they don't go hard. Why did I put? Why did I put him in talented and gifted? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Durantar is a solid Pokemon. Uh, I think. Mm, I think Charizard's a solid Pokemon too. Like he's good, but he doesn't have anything absolutely busted. Espeon, absolutely talented and gifted, can absolutely do a lot of. A lot of damage. I would even say maybe a contender for first in my class at MIT. But talented and gifted for sure. That's the way the meta is leaning. Duraludon, he's just a guy. Espeon got big buffs. Now she's just a guy. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, yeah. Del Fox is also just a guy, but can do a lot of work. And there you have it. There's my tier list. I'm going to screenshot this, post this in the cloud for everyone to enjoy. And uh, yeah, it's just my thoughts on the meta at the moment. Please let me know if you have any questions. And of course, you know, if you like the content, support me. You know how to do that. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.